Hi all, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and in this video I want to address a very specific topic in the drone industry, and that's got to do with 3D modeling using drones. So now if you're looking to create a 3D model using drones, there are many different software platforms out there that can help you do this. So the, the basics of this goes is that you need to collect data from your drone in a very specific way, capture images using the drone off the site or off the asset in a very specific way, and then you need to process that data with software to produce a 3D model, which you can share with your customer or client so that they can get their mapping or inspection work done much more efficiently. Now, there is a big sort of debate in the industry, which is what is the best drone processing software, uh, drone 3D modeling processing software? And people are trying to draw comparisons between software X versus software Y, and they're basically conducting all these tests or processing data using many different software and seeing which one produces the best results. Which is all good, but I think there is a big issue here by in, in following this approach. A lot of people are not considering that, in fact, it's not the processing software that is responsible for producing the results, it's the actual quality of the input data that is responsible for processing the best results. So, uh, to give you an example, uh, basically, most 3D modeling uses a process called photogrammetry. And photogrammetry is essentially a technique that we've known in software for a really long period of time. In fact, I made a whole video on just photogrammetry. So if you want to go check out that video, please do. But in a nutshell, photogrammetry helps you take images and convert them into essentially 3D models or any form of a format from which you can measure things or you can essentially make some form of analytics or, or analysis. And photogrammetry essentially relies on being able to detect certain features in your specific data set, in your specific input images, and convert those features into, into meaningful outputs like depth information. And that depth information is then used to create a 3D model. Now this is at the very crude high level and photogrammetry involves many more steps, many more things. But essentially, if we start focusing not so much on the processing software involved, but on producing a really high quality data set, which leads to really high quality results, we will be doing ourselves a favor because we won't be trying to pick the best software, but we'll be trying to build the best workflows. So instead of trying to essentially just have a set of random images flown manually, which no overlap between them, we can aim to get really high quality images that basically have really high quality overlap between them that align when they're trying when they, when they're basically being merged into a 3D model and we can try to make sure that we're getting not just nadir shot but also oblique shots and we can try to make sure that our data sets are really high quality because as the age old principle goes um, just like in computers in computers is the principle of garbage in garbage out and this applies to photogrammetry and 3D modeling even more. Um, the moment you have a bad quality data set, no matter how good the, the, the processing software might be, it will just not be able to produce a high quality results. So overall, this is just a very short video uh, to try and explain that it's mo much more important to focus on collecting high quality data, because if you have that high quality data, running it through most of the photogrammetry software out there, including hammer emissions, you'll be able to produce a great result. But if you don't have the right data, there's nothing the software will be able to do, uh, no matter which one you pick. So hopefully, as an industry, we can try to have a movement towards high quality data, whether we're providing a service or whether we are an in-house drone team. Uh, sharing this knowledge with others and helping them understand this also will help us focus less on the software and the tools and the process, but more on the process itself and the workflows itself, because that's how we're able to deliver really high quality results to any end customer or end user. Uh, and if they have a great experience, that's how the industry moves forward and we all win. So um, thanks so much for listening. If you do wanna listen to some more of the videos that we put out on different topics in the drone industry, please do check out our, our channel. Um, do like our video, share it with anybody else. Um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video of Knowledge Hub.